This video is not only cute, but it holds a lot of truth, and hopefully with a little science behind it, it may inspire more parents to let their kids get a little dirtier. It all goes back to the hygiene hypothesis proposed in the 1980s, which suggests that early exposure to germs and microbes is key for building a strong immune system. Without it, the immune system can overreact, leading to asthma, eczema, allergies, and even autoimmune diseases. In a comparison between East and West Germany during the 1980s, researchers found that children in the dirtier poor East had fewer cases of asthma and fever than those in the wealthier, cleaner West, even though they had less access to medical care. A similar trend was found in Ghana, where wealthier city kids had more autoimmune issues than rural children who had more contact with dirt and nature. And kids raised on farms or around pets who were exposed to more bacteria consistently have fewer allergies and stronger immune systems than those raised in super clean homes that are always using antibacterial products. But even more interesting is that soil contains a beneficial bacteria called Mycobacterium vacae, which has been shown to boost mood and brain function. In one study, mice exposed to this microbe completed mazes twice as fast and showed half the anxious behaviors compared to the control group. In another study, cancer patients injected with it had less pain, less nausea, and a better quality of life, leading researchers to believe that it may act as a natural antidepressant. Not to mention, people that garden and are constantly touching soil often live longer. So while we've been taught to obsess over spotless homes and antibacterial everything, the truth is that a little dirt might be one of the most powerful medicines that we're not crediting, especially for our kids.